Hey, Hickok 45 here. We're down in the uh, bowels of the rock quarry here, back on the place. Some of these areas are classified, but we can show you some of them. And uh, we are about to do a little V-log uh, 19, I guess. Appreciate y'all coming down here in the woods with us. I know it was a long hike and uh, kind of a treacherous climb. Even Ginger made it. Uh, she just now showed up. We didn't think she was going to come on down in here with us, but here she is. Ooh, is that a wild tiger? Hey, Ginger baby. You want to come over here? Yeah, <laughs> she can't stay away long. There's, there's no one up on top of the, the hill to pet her, so she came down here. Right, Ginger? Yeah, yeah. if you know Goldens, you know what I'm talking about. If you take your hand off of them, you see what happens. Okay. But uh, anyway, glad to have you with us. And uh, again, thanks for all the support. Uh, the uh, return of the rapid fire, of course, going really strong that uh, John put together. Uh, really fun to watch, I have to say. Uh, I put all three of those rapid fire videos he did in a, in a trilogy playlist. Uh, you may have noticed, uh, I think I put a comment about that. And uh, I got to looking at them all three again, and uh, they just are... They're addictive, aren't they? But uh, but uh, we had a lot of fun with that. John put a lot of work in on that, as you can you can tell. He's been getting me out in the car and different things, and so it's uh, I'm his slave. You know, when he's putting together something like that, whatever shot he wants, we go do it. You know, the first time we did one of those, I was like, okay, you know, what is this you want to do? And okay, but then as I began to see, he really knew what he was doing, and uh, he knew how to put these things together. So uh, anything he wants to shoot. You know, let's go do it, because I know it'll turn out pretty well. But uh, we appreciate your support on that. And uh, a lot of interesting comments. One of the things that we've noticed, uh, people are noticing in that video, the return of the rapid fire, uh, lots of various clips that uh, they've never seen before. It's very obvious that they're surprised. And uh, just wanted to reiterate that all the shooting in that video, return of the rapid fire, it's from other videos you know, that we've done. So uh, they're out there. So some of you are not doing your homework. It could be that it's in a V-log uh, or in a FAQ even. You know, because we, we try to do a little something in a lot of those, uh, take a shot or two or flash a firearm. I mean, it is a shooting channel. So, uh, so somewhere around there, there is uh, someone shooting from a tractor. In fact, there's a couple of places where I shot from a tractor, at least two before before the, uh, the rapid fire video, so so I hope you're getting around and finding the good stuff because uh, there's there's some of it out there, uh, various points, uh, places. Just uh, look it up and uh, dig through. Hello, baby. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention: I've been able to uh, get on the T and E list with Springfield uh, test and evaluation list, at least for now. But uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure how that works. You know. I, Glock has been generous to send me a couple of guns, uh, and Springfield sent uh, uh, the uh, XDM uh, this week and 45. So I wanted to just say a word or two about that. Uh, I'm going to be talking to some other uh, uh, manufacturers. Uh, I have a lot of guns, and and occasionally trade and buy, and we end up with plenty of guns to play with uh, and do videos with. But uh, that does a uh, allow an opportunity to, to get some guns to all to test and shoot and do videos with that that maybe you're more interested in even than I am you know so uh, so I want to pursue that and I'll continue I've had uh, talks with some other well actually communications with really only one other company that uh, that, that may not do that I'm not sure but I, I've got several companies I want to communicate with on that and see if, if I can get on that list and it's not like I'm getting free guns and one of the things I have a little concern about is uh, I don't want you to think that I'm selling out if I start doing some of that. This is really in reply to, in response to so many requests to, to show every gun. I wish all the manufacturers could just drive by in a big truck and uh, drop off guns, you know, for a day or a week and let me do some shooting and testing and, and uh, give me my impressions and take them back, you know, because it's kind of a, it's kind of an ordeal, you know, you've got to get the thing sent in and uh, uh, take care of it, make sure it's safely packed away at the bank or in my gun safes and uh, take care of it and then get it back to them, ship it back, uh, you know, and whenever I get one in, I end up spending 100, 200 bucks on ammo, you know, to, to really do a good testing and, and thorough shooting of it and that sort of thing. So, so all in all, it costs me a lot of money, of course. Uh, 
so it's not like I'm making anything and if I do purchase it from them it's just at a wholesale price I've had a lot of uh, two or three of you have contacted me to have FFLs and have offered to uh, help get me guns at your price I mean, one fellow offered to even ship them to me you know ship me a gun um, he would even pay the shipping you know and, and it would just be wholesale that kind of thing so that's some really generous offers but I thought I'd just go through the vendors you know if they're willing to do that because They've got them all, and who knows what I might want to uh, uh, to test at some point, what you want me to test. And I'm not sure how far I'll go with that, to tell you the truth. This is all new, you know? I mean, I haven't been here before. I'm not sure anybody's been here before. This is, uh, we're breaking new ground in a lot of ways, this YouTube thing. And uh, even for the manufacturers, I think it's a, it's a new thing. They're accustomed to article writing, even though I've written an article. They're accustomed to authors you know, doing this. That's been the uh, standard operating procedure for decades and decades. But this YouTube thing is kind of new to them. And, uh, and I just send them to the channel when I talk to them say, see what you think. You know, all I can say is I'll be objective. And my goal is not to trash anybody's guns. If it's a gun that doesn't function well and I continue to have problems with it, I'll send it back to you and see if you can send me one that works. I don't want to review anything that I think is junk. Okay, so the companies I'm going to try to, to obtain guns from our companies like Springfield or Glock or Smith & Wesson, Ruger, uh, maybe H&K, uh, the, the popular gun, Taurus, you know, I mean, you know all the companies. So that would be kind of nice if, if they could. And that way it would take some of the pressure off of the uh, trading up and buying and selling and that sort of thing. Uh, so anyway, just want to let you know. And again, I want to make the company, I want that gun to look good. I hope it works well. I've just uh, posted, you may not have seen it yet, a uh, uh, video with the uh, Springfield XDM, which is a nice gun, that uh, 45. It's really kind of sweet, uh, sweet shooter and everything. And I tried to be honest in that review or in that session. I'm not sure I should call what I do reviews, but uh, pretty nice gun. And I'll do another one or two. And as I shoot it, I mean, yesterday we did the video, and uh, that was the first time I shot one. So it takes a little while. I like to carry it. I've got it on right now. I like to uh, carry it and shoot it and get a feel for it because really first impressions are just that, aren't they? First impressions. So uh, anyway, just wanted to say a word about that. Didn't mean to get so wordy, but uh, don't want you to think that whoever sends me a gun, they own me. They don't. I could never get a gun again. It wouldn't be that big a deal at all. But it's kind of neat and it's kind of fun uh, interacting with uh, the gun companies and uh, checking out what they have. And, by and large, the guns I want to review, I want to get here to the compound, are guns that I get a lot of questions about. There's already a lot of uh, talk about them. I've seen them at a convention and are somewhere, a gun show, and they seem interesting to me. You know, like the M&P, some others I've got you know, on, on my uh, to-do list, you know, down the road. Uh, so they're guns that people are buying or are curious about or thinking they want to buy. You know, like the SR9C that I... Uh, I reviewed not long ago, and I'll do another one with that one too. I still have that one. That was that was one I just bought. So, anyway, that's almost all I have to say about that. I'm just I just wanted to kind of touch on that. I got me a Springfield hat. I got my Glock hat back on, but uh, you know, I don't mind uh, the gun company sending me something and giving a little bit of promotion if that gun works. And uh, so we'll go from there. Like I said, I don't get any money from gun companies, uh, and I can even get the wholesale price elsewhere. But it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, just got a couple more things. Uh, one was, uh, I still get a lot of uh, mail about, uh, uh, some of it is, I don't know where it's generated from, but I get these uh, strange mails I don't even understand sometimes, uh, PMs, you know, private messages, about increasing my subscriptions uh, dramatically by subscribing to some conglomerate, to some group, or somebody, and, and somehow, I don't know. I'm not even sure how it works. Uh, and then, of course, a lot of individuals, you know, wanting to trade subscriptions, trade subscriptions, you know, that, uh, particularly after the pumpkin video, you know, went viral. I got even even more at that point. Uh, I guess whenever you get above a certain level, 20 or 30,000 subscribers, you just get more of that, although I recall getting those uh, a long time ago. Just want to make a comment about that. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I'm not interested in getting artificial subscriptions. You know, never have, never will. I don't, I don't do the trade thing. I don't. I, subscriptions are really not on my mind. It's not a, 
it's not something that I'm very conscious of, uh, other than it's kind of a measuring device that, you know, people seem to like the channel. You know, it kind of tells me that. And if I get into some kind of, I don't know if they're schemes, I don't even know what they are, if they even work or who it is or how it works at all, maybe some of you do. I don't, I don't know what it proves. You know, if I could boost my subscriptions by 5,000 because I subscribe to somebody and half these subscriptions are people who don't even know or care about shooting channels or that, that doesn't really do anything for, me. Do anything for, for the channel or for anything. It's just artificially inflated the way I look at it. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to mention that. Uh, so if, if you are someone who might be watching that, that is in, tied into that kind of thing, you know, save, save your trouble because I'm not really interested in that. Uh, well, baby, is this the sweetest dog you've ever seen? <laughs> it's just the sweetest dog. <laughs> uh, video frequency, I want to make a comment on. We, uh, if we go for a week and no new video posted, you know what starts to happen. Uh, comments about, where's the videos? What's you up to, Hickok? You know, so just wanted to let you know that we, we love doing this. And uh, we have always have a scheme. We always have something in the oven we're planning to do. We're working on, we're just waiting for the weather to get better, or we're too busy, or we can't get to do it while the sun is shining. You know, these days are, the days are so short. Uh, so we uh, plan, we, we kind of, a ballpark figure, we like to do a couple of videos a week. If we can, uh, maybe one a week some weeks, maybe four a week some weeks. Just depends whether we've got a couple of FAQs in mind or uh, a vlog. It, uh, it just really depends on the time. But uh, just know that uh, we're always thinking about the next video and what we're going to do and what we want to do. And we have, I mean, we could sit here probably within the next one minute, I could list about 50 videos that we've got on our mind that we want to do with various firearms and various sorts of things. So we do have lots of them, but we're not just going to make videos to make videos. We might even take two weeks off sometime and not post a video. So anyway, we, uh, we are always... Uh, uh, looking towards the next one because we enjoy doing it. So if you see that we've not posted one for a while, it's just because of uh, logistics or time constraints or something. You're just too busy to, to do another one at that time. So uh, just want to make a comment about that. But we, we love doing the doing the videos and we enjoy shooting. Oh, and, and again, speaking of the, the Springfield Armory, uh, now this gun, as I said, is a I probably won't shoot it because I don't want to hurt little baby's ears. Let's shoot travels out of here. See if I can get it out of here without sweeping Ginger or me or John. <laughs> this is uh, the XDM that uh, I did a review with, a uh, uh, shooting video yesterday with, and uh, I think it's posted right now. You're probably, uh, you might have already seen it, but uh, we might take a <laughs> Ginger knows, <so> she's, <laughs> she's pretty smart. Uh, but again, uh, you might see me shooting anything, carrying anything, wearing anything. I'm kind of, I guess, known for my Glock hat. I uh, picked up a Springfield uh, cap, I guess, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago at a, at a gun shop, and I probably need to give a little more variety. But uh, in some ways, the fact that I have been a Glock person for so long, I, I feel like instead of that maybe um, detracting from my credibility, uh, maybe, it, maybe it enhances it in some ways because in a lot of ways it's the standard uh, by which other guns like this are judged you know and I've been living with Glocks for so long it takes a pretty pretty good gun to impress me and if, if, if a gun comes along that I shoot and think that's not too bad I can't see anything that really just turns me off dramatically that's one heck of a compliment you know I mean trying to be objective about it I think that is a compliment because if a gun, I know I caught some flack because I didn't like the, the subcompact in the, in the XD a whole lot. I'm sorry, you know, I do compare things with one of the very best that's ever been made, and that, that is the Glock. And what's happening, I think, are some of the other manufacturers are, are catching up in some ways. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. And I'll also point out the, the areas where I don't think they've caught up. So I'll do some more reviews with this gun. We'll shoot it. We have it for a little over a month now. and. Uh, We'll, we'll do some shooting with it, and I'm not going to do a review here in a vlog, but I just wanted to, well, Junior's taken off, so we might take a shot or two. Uh, we always try to come prepared to the vlogs, wherever we are, to take a shot, if we possibly can. So let's just see if it'll fire. Junior's well out of range. All right. Don't you love
love the smell of gunpowder. Damn, big old 45s. That's fun. So, anyway, I couldn't let a V-Log go by without shooting and uh, unless Ginger just would not leave. And I, I hate to hit her, you know. I hate to kick her. You know, it's just not very nice. So, she walks away on her own. That's good. So, uh, this is Hickok45 saying thanks again from down here in the, the depths of the rock quarry. And uh, you guys stay tuned. You'll see some, uh, some more videos coming up. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving and holiday coming up.